Bullshit. We've all been guilty of hearing an idea or a solution and thinking, that's so simple. That can't be right. That's obvious. No, that can't, that can't be right. Or we had to tell a story, convey a message, communicate. And we thought we had to write it. Not like we would talk, but we had to write it in a formal way. And we explained it in great detail. And then someone edited it down and made it simpler. And we thought, no, that, that, that's too easy. That's too simple. We've all been there. Admit it. Many times we'd look past what we think is too simple. That can't possibly be the solution to this complex problem that we have. There's a principle of problem solving called Occam's Principle that can help you and your company. I'm going to dig deep into it so that you can become more efficient with your storytelling, your leadership, and your problem solving. It's the No BS Marketing Show. I'm Dave Mastovich, CEO and founder of Mass Solutions, your no bullshit marketing firm. What is Occam's Razor? It's a problem solving principle from a Franciscan friar who was around in the 1300s named William of Occam. And the reason it had the word razor in it is it that it shaves off possible solutions and sharpens your focus when it comes to solutions. Why does it matter to you? Why am I throwing out this term Occam's razor to you? And how can it apply to your company? It's simple. And that's the whole basis of the principle. We tend to overlook the most simple solution. We tend to devalue simplicity. And we keep looking for more and more complexity. And what this does is hurts our decision making and it hurts our problem solving. I'll give you a couple of examples and then talk to you about how you can work through this and make this benefit not only you for personal and professional growth, but the company you work at or the company you own, the company you lead. Think about when you're brainstorming. A couple of things have happened. There have been times when the brainstorming was so spectacular at some point in your life. Could have been about something personally or professionally. But the brainstorming was so spot on. And the idea, everyone agreed with it. And you had that exhilarating feeling. Right? That's just tremendous. Everybody in the room is energized and you have a solution. Chances are that solution was the simplest of the alternatives you had come to throughout that brainstorm. Chances are that was the most straightforward of the solutions that came out that night. But for whatever reason, you didn't look down upon it as simplicity. And so you used it and you thrived with it. Now think of the opposite. Someone came to you with an idea. It wasn't necessarily in a brainstorming session. And they spelled an out, out an idea that seemed blatantly obvious to you. And so you overlooked it. And you thought that it was too simple. Or you're in a group meeting and three or four ideas and detailed solutions are explained. The one that's the least complex gets overlooked. These ones that have all kinds of complexity and details get valued higher. It's a common problem. Hence, that's why we have Occam's razor, William of Occam, the Franciscan friar who was lived in around 1300 times, 1300s. He had talked about this principle that when you have competing solutions, you should take the least complex. You should take the simplest hypotheses or solution. And time and again, throughout my career, I've been on both ends of this spectrum. And time and again, I've kicked myself. And instead of saying Newman, like Jerry Seinfeld did when Newman would frustrate him, I would go Occam. Actually, I never did that, but just thought it'd be fun. But I have many times said, why did I look past the simpler solution? It's really difficult for us because 
we're working on this project. We're working on this idea. We're trying to solve this problem. We just can't imagine that something simpler and the simplest, maybe even obvious, was something we missed. Well, it takes vulnerability. And you hear a lot of talk about vulnerability with Brene Brown and other major speakers and leaders. And vulner vulnerability is huge. It's one of the biggest challenges for me as a leader with my company. I've embraced vulnerability throughout my life because I was influenced by a man far ahead of his time, generations ahead of his time, my father, my dad, who was vulnerable in a time when men simply weren't. And so I followed that example, and I've been vulnerable, can get better, not perfect. But the challenge with my team is I sometimes forget that they're not at that stage. They didn't have that influence, so they really struggle with vulnerability. And I have to talk about it again and again because they struggle with admitting that something didn't go well and let's learn from it, admitting that they have a weakness and let's learn from it. I have that same problem too. Even though I had that great influence of my dad, I still have that same challenge because it's not easy. So the first step is if you can embrace vulnerability and start thinking about how simpler is better when it comes to your problem solving. If you think of Occam's razor and if you have multiple choices, take the simplest one. It's going to go better for you. Now, when it comes to communication, I can speak to this in great degrees of experience and expertise. Less is more with communication. There's hardly a time where that has not been the case. Simplicity is better when it comes to your storytelling. Time and again, I've had to live this one, and it's the toughest thing in my job, the absolute hardest thing in my job, is when you know our team and Mass Solutions has come up with this solution. And it's a simpler message. And it's strong and it's going to work. And you can tell that the client just can't live by Occam's razor. The client just can't be vulnerable enough to say, wait a minute, that's simple, but that doesn't mean it's not just what we need. It's, it's simple, but it doesn't mean it can't be great. It's simple, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work and work well. So when you're doing your messaging and you hear some kind of phrase that's simple, it could very well be much stronger than that lengthier phrase that you're currently using. If you have to write an email or a formal letter and you wrote 500 words, I can tell you with certainty that I can make that letter much stronger at 350 words. And so can a heck of a lot of other people that are great at their storytelling capacity. I know that if you have a PowerPoint deck that has 52 slides and each slide has 30 words on it, then I can help you get down to slurs with slides with one word, one image. And so maybe there's still 30 or 40 slides, but they're all one word or one image. So you breeze through them and people see them and they're impacted and it resonates with them and there's makes an emotional impact. Less is more, simple is better. So it's time that you think of Occam's razor and you go with the simpler solution every chance that you get. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to make an impact with you on your problem solving, and it's definitely going to make an impact with you in your communication. Hope you enjoyed another episode of the No Bullshit Marketing Show, recorded in our studios here in bold, beautiful downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Remember, ask yourself, what's the big idea? And build your story around the answer. It's all about bold solutions, no BS.